Good afternoon, everyone. Effective midnight tonight, concluding at midnight on Monday, South Australia Police will be running Operation Safe Long Weekend. This operation will be a highly visible statewide policing operation focusing on driver behaviour on South Australian roads. In the last five years, we unfortunately and tragically have lost six people, have lost their lives on South Australian roads during the long weekend, and we've had 49 people tragically seriously injured, some of those people with lifelong consequences. We would ask the people using our road network over the long weekend to work with us, to be responsible, to make sure that they are paying attention and making good decisions for themselves, their passengers, their loved ones and other road users. The weather conditions aren't good for the long weekend, it's likely to be quite wet and there'll be a number of people leaving metropolitan Adelaide going into regional South Australia. So we're asking people to drive to the conditions, pay attention, make good decisions, work with us to make sure that everybody does have a good long weekend and returns home to the people that they love. Just remember, if you make a bad decision on our roads consciously, the consequences can be catastrophic. And I'd ask you just to think about the people that you'll leave behind if you choose to behave like that. What will police be doing this weekend that's different to other weekends in, in order to tackle that, that high road toll? Look, we'll have a, a highly uh, coordinated response to the weekend. We'll look at where evidence tells us that we need to be. So we'll have our police assets where they need to be, when they need to be there. Where, where are they and when? That'll be all across the state. So you can expect to see a significant police presence focused on driver behaviour this weekend. Are you more concerned about speed um, on long weekends, people hurrying to get to where they're, they're planning to go as a distraction? What is your main concern? Look, clearly the, the fatal five are something that we're always concerned about because they're the greatest contributors to uh, lives lost on our roads and serious injuries. And that is drink and drug driving, that's speeding, seat belts, it's distraction. Distraction's a significant issue for us and it's also dangerous road users, people that deliberately choose to make bad decisions. Are you expecting a lot of people on the road this weekend given it's the it's sort of that middle long weekend between Easter and the next one which is not until October? Yeah, we are. We are expecting a, a number of people to be on the road for that exact reason, that there won't be another long weekend until October. And as I said, the forecast in terms of the weather is not good, so we'll just ask people to make the right decisions. If you're tired, take a break. If it's raining heavily, slow down or pull over. If it's safe to do so, just contribute to everybody enjoying the long weekend. Have all police been deployed? Is it sort of all hands on deck this weekend? This is a, this is a statewide safe old policing operation. And just on weather again, um, we know we're in for a particularly bad weekend weather-wise. Again, um, just to reiterate, what is the message to those people? You say um, distraction is one of those um, top five. What's the message to people to try and watch out? The message is pretty simple. It's really just be responsible and drive to the conditions. As I said, if it's torrential rain and you're, and you're driving and you don't feel comfortable or you can't see, pull over if it's safe to do so. If, it's, if the weather's bad and you need to slow down, slow down. Because the posted speed limit is there, it doesn't mean you have to stick to that speed limit. Just use your common sense and arrive alive. That's what we want you to do. What about RBTs? Will they be deployed as well? That'll be part of the strategy over the long weekend, yes. How difficult is it to conduct RBTs or random um, checks when in, in bad weather? Is it dangerous for police officers to be out there in, in that sort of weather? Obviously we have to assess when we're going to be working on roads, etc., dependent on the conditions, but people need to remember that every police car that's on the road is essentially a random breath testing opportunity for SAPOL. Will there be a special focus as well on the regions, particularly where the speed limits are higher and there could be some more dangerous or distracted driving there? There'll be a, a statewide focus and there'll be a significant focus in regional South Australia because tragically that's where we lose 70% of our lives lost generally during a year. Is it a matter of more people on the road now that um, COVID is almost behind us? You know, we don't have restrictions, there's no, um, no restrictions between borders, um, so more people on the road? That's exactly right. I mean, the volumes have, re have returned to uh, normal in terms of vehicles on the road, and people now are unrestricted and can move between states and territories. So that has increased the volume and that increases the risk as well.
Are you worried at all? We've had a few, um, you know, pretty significant um, hit and run crashes over the past few months. Is this something that worries you coming into the long weekend? Look, anything where, any incident where somebody loses their life or is seriously injured is a concern for SAPOL because ideally we don't want anybody getting hurt on South Australian roads. Ask questions, please. Thank you.